Hi everyone, my name is Michelle White and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to integrate or pull our Microsoft um, calendars. So there's sort of two steps to this. The first step is you need to create a calendar and then once you create a calendar you'll see sort of the um, capabilities to pull an integration into it. So to get started here you guys we're going to go right into the calendar application and then select the settings right here that says manage calendars. We'll go ahead and hit the plus sign here and then just fill out um, your names or whatever the name of the schedule you want it to be. So I'll just do today's schedule. Um, you can fill in the description if you want. Some of our clients like to use this, um, especially if they have calendars that are really close, like similar. They'll want to put a description just to distinguish, you know, which one's which. But know that that is like completely optional. Um, then you want to choose a color. So again, this is just a color palette. You can pick one of these colors or if you just select within here. Obviously, you've got a little bit more of a, a variety. So I'm just going to select the orange and then you want to choose the time zone. So we are actually central time, but as you can see, there is a very um, lengthy list just in case you're not seeing it as a default. Um, and then you will want to choose the template. Now, I can guarantee you guys that probably 90, 95% of you guys are always going to have this default template. Um, but do keep in mind, we do have a ring template. And then um, you actually wouldn't see this name and description one. Uh, this is actually something I was just testing under my test account. So like I said, a majority of you are always going to have this default. So there's really no to do there. So once you've sort of filled out this information, we'll go ahead and hit the create button. All right. And as you can see right here on the left side, it does say today's schedule. Obviously, if I select it, there's nothing, you know, appearing. So our second step now is to basically link up the Microsoft account. Now keep in mind that this calendar application can link up Office 365 or it can be an exchange server that is hosted through the Microsoft. Um, I mainly do have just the Office 365, so that's just kind of what we're going to do today. Um, if you guys have some more questions on sort of how that all works, you can definitely give us a call. Um, so how to do the integration. So we're going to go back into the manage calendars and then we're going to select the schedule that you and I just created together. Now, as you can see, now there's a little bit more tabs that have opened up. And of course, we can see right here that there are three that are regarding integrations. So we'll go ahead and select the second tab and we'll go down here. It says create integration. Now, again, you can give this sort of a, a particular name if you want. It's completely up to you. You can name it based on what the calendar is. You can name it today's schedule. Um, this particular information is not getting like, stored on the digital signage. It's just a way for you to identify, you know, what calendar you're pulling in. So I'm just going to do today's schedule just to kind of keep it simple. Um, then you'll want to actually skip this part and go down and transport and we're going to do vendor integration. So as you can see that that sort of changed as I selected my options here. Now the vendor right here that we're going to sort of focus on again you guys is going to be the Microsoft Exchange and then I'm going to hit save integration. So as I did hit save you can see now that some more options are appearing. Um, we can sort of cover this stuff once we link it up. So that's actually what I'm going to do first is I'm going to skip this part and I'm going to jump right into link Microsoft account. So let's go ahead and select that. All right. So as you can see, you guys, you do get this sort of message. Uh, essentially what's going on here is it's just saying, hey, you know what? We're going to pull this information. You know, are you OK with the reach? You know, basically pulling in whatever you have displayed on your Microsoft. Um, so of course, yes, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. So as you guys can see, it does bring you back to the reach CMS, which is usually good indication that, you know, we basically did successfully link up with Microsoft. So the next kind of final step here is we're going to go back into the manage calendars and we're going to select today's schedule. Cause again, that's the calendar that you and I created. And then when I go into the integration tab, you can now see that all of my calendars are pulling through. So now I need to let basically reach or the CMS know, you know, what calendars do you really want to display on your digital signage or your iPad or your touch screen? Um, so you can see you just simply, simply select one of these or all of them. And then you want to make sure that the enabled is selected. And as a default, we actually set the runtime to three hours. Um, keep in mind though, you guys, that exchange is nearly real time. 
And so the schedule is going to be updating, you know, obviously real time quickly. However, we like to put sort of a fallback time just in case. And for whatever reason, we've always just kind of done three hours. And that's what these three little boxes or settings are referring to. So again, you don't have to fill out the days or days prior. You don't have to do that. Um, you can leave this how it is. Again, we encourage you just to do the three hours. It's just kind of how, you know, we are sort of trained. Um, but again, that's kind of what this is referring to. Once you sort of click the enable, you've selected your calendars here. Um, again, I'm just going to keep this as a default. You'll want to hit save integration. All right. And as you can see, I'm getting a nice little um, notification that it was saved. And then we want to run it. We want to run the integration to make sure that everything successfully got pulled in. So I went to the another tab right here that said run integration. And then I select the button run now. And again, I do get a nice little notification that, hey, it's working properly. Now, if for whatever reason that connection wasn't there, you would definitely get an error right here. And then that would be a good indication that maybe something in this process is just not connecting right. But I did get that sort of green, you know, thumbs up. So we are good to go. So now I can just close out of here. And then I can select my today's schedule, which will display the information. So as you can see. So really the last and final, final steps here is to take this calendar and apply it on the front end, to apply it to your layout, to apply it to your touchscreen or your iPad, you know, sort of whatever you're using um, to sort of communicate to, you know, your clients or to your employees, um, to your students. So that is sort of the overview of how we get Microsoft to pull into our calendar. If you guys have any questions, you wanna kinda learn a little bit more about this stuff, um, definitely give us a call. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you.